Hello, people with uh, mobile phones and computers who's watching us on this <laughs> silver screen. Today's episode will be we'll share all those little things that helped us in the beginning. So it's more for those who's starting with tattooing and fucking suffering all the way through. Yeah, or those who remember how they started and how fun it was when things were a bit confusing. So yeah. this is a this episode is talk about them little like tips. Like tips, you mean like tips? Like little tips and tricks. Yeah. For beginners. It's not the absolute truth. It's the things that helped us and that was confusing. Yeah. Yeah. I hope it's gonna help you. Just enjoy the ride. <laughs> so on this episode is tips and tricks, so watch Tattoo Shop! <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> fuck. <clears throat> <coughs> good, good. <laughs> so, I'm yours and I'm tattooing for around one and a half years. So, I've, I've, I've been learning for around eight years but i tried it i stopped i tried it i stopped so actively into this thing i'm in around one and a half two years still learning this yeah. guy i started six years ago in a tattoo shop um, before that two so it's like completely seven years if you count that first two years of suffering it was terrible but I learned a few things. One, you have to get apprenticeship. <laughs> and the other one, don't buy machines from China. <laughs> so, should we talk about machines? Let's do machines. So, yeah, my first experience was like the very first. I got some tattoos and I heard of, of homemade machines. And I heard how they done. So I made one just because I like to build shit yeah i that's built awesome. one i was like oh okay i'm not into drawing <laughs> and i gave it to a friend who who was good with drawing so yeah he started tattooing with that homemade machine he made tattoo on you he made a bunch on me but like the well, the first ones yeah but the machine was working fine it's there's still still people with them tattoos and yeah but it's <laughs> it's not a great thing but it's cool there it's much uh, it's like it shows uh, that you are re de de dedication yeah ex fuck yeah. yeah so yeah but that that was just that was homemade machine just to try to build it it was working mm. and then later on i had a chance i was in a shop so i could borrow other tattooist machines and try with them mm. so i was from when i was starting to learn tattooing i was around all right to two machines so what about chinese things <laughs> <laughs> ebay things ebay yeah it's more and then yeah i would say ebay well i i bought that set with four machines in it uh i can't remember if they were if you had to put all the pieces together but something got uh, something broke and i had to like change some stuff and i was completely confused i've never changed any things for the two machines so just following your instincts remembering how cool was playing with lego <laughs> so use that skill <laughs> it, it fits <laughs> yeah it didn't well it didn't work so there was something wrong with the spring I put the needle in, I worked, uh, something break, I didn't know what the fuck is happening, the dude was screaming like, who got tattooed, it was a uh, terrible start, and it's hard, to, like now you can see sh uh, stuff on internet and, and you, you have more information out there, it was uh, much harder, I just had to watch the uh, first season of Miami Inc. <laughs> and you already did. And you <laughs> Yeah, so like, that was like homemade machine. I would say if you build, if you if you're like, oh, I want to start tattooing, I will build machine. Then you are a special kind of person because mm. considering that you can buy kit, it's it's no point to 
to build it because you can i think you can buy a machine cheaper than it is to build one unless you you have to know what to do if unless you live in a warehouse with yeah. all the gadgets and you can build stuff i think you can build a machine if you never build one yeah, I, yeah I mean you can build but uh, there's, good there's just know. no point to do it and it's struggling and yeah like if if we're talking about machines it's it's important to have at least not bad machine there's there are some I've heard of a couple artists and I know one who's working with with the with the cheap eBay machines but maybe they're lucky with they got a good better machine and yeah. they, they they have a decent skill but don't don't get caught on 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 that idea though about gear that like if you will buy the best the most expensive yeah. machine the set is the worst because you can get these colors that the, that's actually really bad for you and yeah, but also I, I also see. the best machine will not guarantee that you are good tattooist because no. a lot of depends on skill. Yeah, that's the. It's kind of both uh, connecting, uh, but skill is the first uh, like thing to have. If to. you don't have a budget to buy new good machine, it's it's good idea to look. Maybe there's some tattooist you know. Mm. Maybe you get tattooed by some tattooist and you can ask them maybe they have some machine that they used to work with and they're selling it and you know that they worked with it so you know the work can be done good with that machine so it's all right machine and if you buy it and it's not working maybe you have to work on your skill a bit more yeah i think you can also uh, uh sometimes just write someone who's working or write some tattoo shop you know or ask your tattooer or whatever. Like uh, yeah, I don't think tattoo shops will just sell to anyone who is no, no, asking. Uh, but if you have your tattooist, and if if you have good relationships, they will probably point you directions mm. if they don't have anything to offer you. Not even uh, buying from tattoo shop anything. Just maybe ask for, give a question to them. Maybe they can. I think if someone would write us, uh, why wouldn't you? Tell them like Warhouse for beginners. Go. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. So that's about machines. So, so the tip would be machine should be at least all right for a beginning. Cause yeah, yeah, some some cheap machines can't even technically sometimes pull off what you want. Yeah, some areas, some people have uh, more tough skin or need a uh, different strength for machines. So it's. Yeah, if the machine is weak, it's gonna be hard to make clean tattoo. And then the next thing is like drawing. Like like I said, I built that machine and I gave it to friend because I was like, oh, I don't have a talent for drawing. And I was thinking for that for a long time. And then I was working in the shop. I was piercer and doing some reception work. And that was one tattoo artist who asked me like, why are you not tattooing? I said like, you know, I, I don't have a... A talent for drawing mm -hmm. he was but he was like good artist and he was like like what what sort of talent are you talking about mm -hmm. you need to learn stuff and and you can learn it so he he recommended me some books and gave some exercises and i was doing them and i was like oh like it's it's not a masterpiece but it's definitely step up so yeah 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 you can s see the the how it's with everything you if you practice you get better <laughs> and like that that book was more about like just this what it's called academical drawing or like all the basics and, and lights mm. and shadows mm. and all that so so that yeah that helps a lot to understand like drawing itself and mm. probably it helps a lot in like realistic tattooing because but that's uh, that's so much to learn uh, you like you have to learn basics for shadows something then you can start from there but like yeah and then there's another thing which is drawing for for tattoos like for example for traditionals and that that's more your department you can tell <laughs> more about it because well, th them rules yeah. that apply to to realistic not always apply to like uh, traditional yeah, stuff. traditional it's just there is a certain way of doing it and if you're doing it wrong it looks not good you know and but you learn, f uh, I think, uh, if we're talking about uh, designs and shit. <laughs> like dro drawing for tattoos, yeah. 
for design yeah uh, for me i started uh, with tracing it from beginning uh just that's how i learned uh, doing straight lines i was tracing other tattoo work from books we had just redraw line work maybe one design i redraw like a couple times till till my lines got more more straight on that paper that's that's actually i felt really quickly how my lines got more and more straight and actually if you stop practicing that you you can get back to shittier like skin. one dude <laughs> said you get that wooden arms feeling that you're like oh like yeah you have to keep moving. doing it it's not it's not like you're gonna learn it it's not gonna you're not gonna learn straight lines and then you can like walk around happy for rest of your life you're gonna do straight lines it's oh like <laughs> like yeah and another dude said that you have to learn from either somebody who can teach you or get a book or get some mm. some decent source because if you decent just, source if yeah. you're drawing if you're drawing on your own you might be drawing shit and think that it's amazing and you'll keep drawing shit for the rest of your life and like because you have to you no. have to reach out for information yeah and be fucking judgmental to your own work because you're the one who's gonna learn from your mistakes and you have to no one's perfect from beginning so if someone tells you something uh, about your stuff don't get mad just learn from it or if you see something just try to fix it you know constructive criticism is all right mm. don't 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 get sensitive about it yeah 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 so but uh, yeah about I had books about traditional tattoos. I saw a lot of nice designs about how shadow goes. I learned from that a lot. And then, like, yeah, like, obviously, the best way to learn tattooing is get a good apprenticeship. Exactly. Uh, but not always you have a chance, and not always getting an apprenticeship means that it's going to be good apprenticeship. You can <laughs> just get some some nightmare apprenticeship and slave in some shit shop and yeah. learn nothing and you will st think that it's all how it should be but if you if, no, no, if no. you dedicate i know many tattooists who who started on their own and they learned their way with apprenticeship it probably would take them like it would be a lot faster it would be a lot less errors and stuff like that mm. but another way like is just like you know when you are good customer, when you get tattoos, you you have that you sit the closest next to tattooist to your tattoo, so you can see how stuff is done. That's the best. Uh, and shit to if do. you have good relationships with tattooists, if you mm. if you're good customer, you can always ask questions, and they will probably tell you tell you what's up. So I think, yeah, you have to. There is many people you who have did look, that way. Yeah, and you have to look for information. You can't just do stuff and think like, oh, I will learn at some point. You have mm. to go, you have to research, and you have to ask questions, and then you'll get your answers. And, and mm. I think that's that's one of the ways to learn. Yeah. And then there's apprenticeship. You can also maybe... Like for me, I was... The plan was for me to become apprentice for for the shop and but i got lucky with a lot of great artists working around me and but you had apprenticeship right like one month but you were in the I, shop. I was i was in the shop well uh yeah well he teach me a lot of things uh, from beginning that's no doubt about it but but still i mean a lot of uh, tattooers uh, give their apprentice uh, apprenticeship for three two years more so maybe in some ways i got lucky i, really I know lucky. a guy who was like <laughs> apprentice for two years but he was yeah. like he was tattooing like friends and doing some apprenticeship deals but after two years they told him like now you full-on tattooist so yeah that's like how long it should take i guess it depends on shop and how fast you learn there's With also what kind of artists there's also you, these yes. like paid apprenticeships which is like you pay for apprenticeship but again like you should check who you learn from and what's what's there because you can pay money and learn nothing but that's i guess different story don't trust that shit i don't trust that shit and when you go and pay money for that 
sounds a little. S- it it's it seems strange for me, but um, maybe some people do that. But why would I think there's better ways to <laughs> deal with <laughs> with teaching someone? Yeah, and why we figured out that we 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 want to talk about this. There's there's some useful tips, and they not a secret, and they you can read them anywhere. But they will like maybe I'm. Sp- special kind of person in the way I learned but it seemed confusing so when tattooists were giving some tips on how to do stuff like there were things that I was like not entirely understanding and it was about first one was like like oh yeah when you tattoo when you do a line you should feel comfortable Mm. I was like (laughs) <laughs> what is that? Like, you know, it's all right. Like you know, temperature is fine. <laughs> Socks fit good. Socks fit good. Shoes, shoes are okay. My back is fine. So I was like, I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah. And then one guy said, he said, when you do a line, there should be one. There's probably one way that you feel the best, the most solid. How you do a line. So left to right, right to left, mm. up down, and you can always adjust that position. So it's that comfortable way of doing line. I was like, ah, that's what they all meant. <laughs> but yeah, feeling comfortable of you doing that line, that outline. So it's so it's not wobbly and stuff. So mm. that that was for me the thing. Wow. Then what wow. else? <laughs> was there anything like that for you? Some yeah, special I kind can, of things. I it's like for me it feels like it's been all one giant big day <laughs> it's i can't figure out what but the guy who teached me from beginning that short time he teach me how to stretch the skin and i couldn't figure out the way he's explaining me but i saw it exactly what he's doing so my arms didn't work that way so one arm goes opposite direction to the other one and and uh, like you make lines and then you stretch out opposite way. That's uh, what he explained to me and actually from there I realized that's, that's the trick. That's what you taught me because like mm. also stretching skin I was like, you know, doing really important this stuff and all that. But This two finger uh, trick is like weird as fuck. I mean like this is that much you see from all the picture how can you see where the line keeps going and maybe it works for some maybe it works for some people i've seen a dude works with one arm so (laughs) there yeah it's uh, amazing i mean respect so uh, there is people but uh, yeah but giving that solid stretch like you showed me pull skin to one side do a line to the opposite that that for me was like mine mm. eye opener you know mm. um, but it took some it time like till you figure out but, but you, from the moment you figure out that the, that's the way you have to do you just kind of try to do it more and more and it, it gets there yeah sometimes from, you sometimes you do the stretch you start to do the line you focus on line so much that you the, forget about stretching. exactly that's that's what uh, it was problem for me An- another thing with the with them confusing tips was when when I was doing a line, I was like, I know that you can blow a line, you can do it too shallow. So I was like, how do I know when it's deep enough or not too deep? And tattoo is well, you have to feel it. And I was like, how can I feel it? I'm, I'm some sort of magician or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was reading book about tattooing. I think it was like reinventing tattooers. It was like good. That was a good, a lot of good tips and. Uh, it was like um, with the hand that you stretch, you feel vibration of skin, and that's how can you tell is it deep enough mm. and where you want it. And I was like, ah, oh, so that's how you feel it. But still, if you tell a person who never tried to do the line that you have to follow the vibration, he's not going to figure out. You have to try many, many times till you figure out what's the vibration about. Yeah, but when you say... But of course, you, you of have course. to feel it. You're like, I sense yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. I see dead people. Exactly. Yeah, it's the I weird. feel energy. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, it's true. You have to feel it. But uh, there is many things. It's just I don't light. Think, 
lights like yeah. like you can ad- adjust to many things and work in basements uh, yeah and stuff. i've been working in the dark and i thought it's cool but good light it it helps if you see what you're doing mm, definitely and good light where it's not gonna cast shadow from your own hand for example yeah because you can get the most powerful light and sit in your own shadow and it's no good then it's better to have a mm. little little lamp on your forehead because then then it's all yeah. there many pe- many good artists use lamp and uh on the forehead i just i i would like to use it i just don't like the feeling that some something is on my forehead but i tried it it's it's pretty funky looks funny though <laughs> but fuck that fuck that it's all about tattoo yeah uh, you know people worried about uh, oh a lot of people will learn tattooing but it's all about what you making it yeah good good luck making it better <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think tattooing is at such a big level that it's too like, late to hide it <laughs> yeah like these these basics are for you not to cause too much damage because mm. like there's there's a lot to learn there's a long way to go to be yeah to, yeah, to but, be out there <laughs> yeah it's i mean I don't understand when people try to hide these in things. So what did we learn today? What did we learn today? We learned that the best way to learn is apprenticeship. Yes. That, that's it. L- work on your drawing skills. Work on your drawing skills. Work on your drawing skills as, as a classic way of drawing. Work on the drawing skills for tattoos and maybe do copies of some designs to understand how it works. Do and copies this- of your favorite tattoo works and don't copy just first shit you can find on Google yeah. first page because you have to do a research and find the decent stuff that you 100% sure this is how it should be instead of you know there's a lot of bad stuff on the internet you can find that it's th- everything is wrong about design composition and and people see it kind of okay this is maybe cool you know and they copy it and learn it from that thing and it's not good it's not gonna lead you anywhere Oh, I'm very cool. sensitive. So yeah, <laughs> tattoo machines like gear, like tattoo machines, power supplies, pedals, cables. It's all important, but skill is more important. Yeah, it's it's maybe not in impossible, but it's really hard to work with shit gear. But the best gear will not guarantee that you will be awesome artist. It's still it's 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 a lot on skill. Mm. Which links to drawing, which links to understanding what's up. And the technical aspect, stretch the skin, have a good light, feel how deep you go from vibrations, on the (laughs) other hand, and be comfortable with the way you do the line. Position yourself. One dude said, he said, customer is not important, tattoo is important. Well, you should care about customers as well. Definitely. But it's much easier to do a great tattoo when customer is uh, comfortable. And but if you will worry about every little bit when you touch it, then you will probably fuck up something. Yeah. Well, just go and learn, Sonny. <laughs> learn! Because <laughs> this is Tattoo Shop. Hopefully these things we shared with you will help someone and somebody finds something, some troubles familiar with it. If there was something that you want to share, some little tips or tricks that help you, don't be shy. Leave that comment. Yeah, do do some fucking hipster. Share, share your yeah. struggle. You can say whatever you want. We like that. Mm. Yeah, say awesome weed check out my channel (laughs) (laughs) so good i like them the most they are making your ratings better (laughs) yeah (laughs) skyrocket i have few of them too fuck you're so talented follow me (laughs) (laughs) awesome vid check out my channel um that's it people i think i think that's it for today subscribe comment bye love you all
Talk. 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 Talk.